Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Earlier there were multiple reports especially from the ET defense which reported issues that were found during the various phases of trials of QRSAM. The first issue which is a major concerning one was that QRSAM failed to detect and engage helicopters hovering at low altitude and minimum range. The other issue reported by ET Defense was with the mobility. The system is reported to have excess size and weight because of which it is not able to effectively move across uneven terrain with armored column. Last one was related to the accuracy of missile itself. The firing success rate was unimpressive with only half of missile hitting the designated targets. Now, as per the update from Saurabh Chha from Delhi Defense Review in April 2023, the QRSAM has passed additional trials with flying colors. The detection of hovering helicopters was demonstrated repeatedly and near boundary intercepts were also achieved. Now, recently, a few more reports have uncovered, which is suggesting that the confirmatory trial of QRSAM is complete and is completed successfully. There is one more test scheduled for the month of June, which will complete the entire trial process, after which the acceptance of necessity will be issued by the Ministry of Defense. So this was our latest update related to QRSAM trials and its uh, upcoming orders. Now we will talk about the QRSAM missile system in depth, discussing various features and specifications. The Quick Reaction Surface-to-Air Missile QRSAM is the last point of multi-layered defense system against aerial target, which makes it extremely critical defense system. This missile is being developed by DRDO in association with BEL and Bharat Dynamics Private Limited for Indian Army. QRSAM is being developed to protect the mobile armored columns from any aerial attack. The system has capability of surveillance and tracking on the move, firing on short halts. The QRSAM missile has intercept envelope up to 30 km in range, 10 km in altitude and 360 degree in azimuth. The latest DRD brochure reveals the altitude envelope of QRSAM to be 14 km, which is significant from the earlier reported 10 km envelope. The active phased array surveillance radar of QRSAM provides surveillance up to 120 km for 2 m square RCS target and tracking radar up to 80 km for 2 m square RCS target with IFF. IFF is Identification of Friend and Foe System. The QRSAM missile is a state-of-art missile with RF seeker and the communication between radar and missile happens via two-way data link. It has automated command, control and communication post at firing unit level to carry out the battlefield management. The system is capable of engaging multiple elite targets such as aircraft, hovering helicopters, UAV, etc. and has all-weather operational capability. The QRSAM system is configured on high mobility vehicle for mobility in cross-country terrains like plains, semi-deserts and deserts. Now let's try to understand the QRSAM weapon system configuration. A QRSAM weapon system consists of one regiment command post vehicle RCPV which acts as a central system. The RCPV is then connected with three battery units via satellite on the move. Each battery unit consists of a battery command post vehicle which is connected to a battery surveillance radar vehicle and four combat groups via radio on the move. Now each combat group consists of BMFR that is battery multifunctional radar and missile launch vehicle. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.